Yo, what is up guys? I'll go back and you bring in a brand new YouTube video. So, in this video, I'm going to be game, playing a game called Gone Home, clearly. It's about some guy, he comes home and his family is missing. I don't really know anything about this game. Somebody just referred it to me. So, let's get right into it. Full brain company. Oh. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> Gone home. All right, uh, m motherfucker, I can read. Get off my screen. All right. 1995. Yeah, how dope would this be if I would upload this on June 7th? Okay. What the fuck? Turn off the sensitivity. Shitty ass. Uh, controls. All right. There we go. Alright, look closer or that. Check map. Alright. Fuck. Grab that shit. That. Cheap ass! And it's all fucking cracked up and shit. Shitty ass. Alright, what the hell am I supposed to do with this? I don't want the. It's my passport. I got it to go on my Europe trip. Oh, so I'm the girl. What the fuck? Dumbass niggas tell me wrong shit. It's my boarding pass. Alright, so how do I get rid of this shit? Uh, there we go. Can I, can I break it? Oh my... What is this shit? Some fucking plastic ass cup? Ugh. Wait, this is a porch? What? Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want... Don't want anyone to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you, Sam. Who the fuck is Sam? And I. All right, let's get. Damn, bitch! I said I'm loud. No. Oh. Oh fuck no. Is this a horror game? Like, y'all got me some playing some horror game and I don't even fucking know it. What is this? I'm <sighs> some moving shit. Alright, I don't give a fuck. Dear Katie. Oh. So much has changed. Even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. Got a mirror? I'm in a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel oh. real. But I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal. Just like I was talking to you. Aww. <gasps> that was so fucking gay! Alright, alright. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, shit. What's the barcode on that shit? <laughs> alright. Get the fuck out of here. Front hall, what's in that? And I can't sprint or nothing. Bruh, what kind of plug is that? Alright, let's see what the this is. Stephen King. Isn't that an author or some shit? Author magazine, yeah, 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 it is. Alright, I don't 
I don't know anything about this shitty ass game. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, we'll keep that on. Alright, well. Oh. Sam. Katie, mom, and dad. Is that me? Damn, I'm ugly as a bitch. Oh. Ma. Ma. Yeah, fuck that shit. Let me, let me, bitch. Yeah. Me, fucking right, ho. All right. Sam, Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel is a total weirdo. The only reason I ever hung out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo. Oh. What a fake ass friend. Uh. And this game is fucking weird. Like, bruh. Going on up in this bitch, nothing. Uh, turn this shit on. Nothing's even it. Oh. Board game. All right, so what is the? What the hell is the point of this game? I don't understand. Forestry service. Janice, wait, is that? Ah, fuck it. I don't care who that is. Bitch, you ain't shit. I'm number one. Alright, well. Wow. You got silver for a first place. Good job. Bitch. What the? Man. Oh. Alright, there ain't shit in here. Bro, this house is... Um, yeah, y'all can pause the video and read that, because you already know your boy don't like to read, so, uh, <laughs> shit. I'll, I'll leave it paused there for a little bit. Could a key be? Fuck out of here. Uh. Have a doggone cool 17th birthday. Happy birthday, Sam, Uncle Harvey. Alright, so there's shit hidden. Interesting. Still don't know what the hell is the point. The point of this game is. Yo, what if there's like some secret ass door in the wall or something? Watch, is this door locked too? Come on now. Oh wow. Uh. There we go. What's this? Man, I told you I'm not fucking with this game. Oscar Duck Mess. 1933. Alright, I don't think that's. I think that's pointless. Dad? Dad? Can we see our note? Shut that shit up. 
Ooh, bitch. All right, t t t t Terrence. Uh, okay, shitty ass. Uh, CD playback. You know that feeling uh. where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, yeah. and you have to get to know them. Well, My there's this girl. Yeah. <laughs> I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk, but sometimes I see her in this like army uniform, and she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever like have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Street Fighter? Shit. Alright, the heaven? Or heaven? I don't know what the fuck that word is. The heaven, heaven at the edge of the world. Oh, the heaven, yeah. I guess it's because she was young, I guess. Uh. Oh yeah, grade two. Alright, the heaven at the edge of the world. Story, the turtle people. Part one. Captain Allegra looked off at the ocean. It went on forever. Or so it seemed. Someday she would f find the edge and get to the paradise there. Then she heard a cannon fire. Boom. It was the black pirate ship, she yelled. I thought we lost them at Horse Island. The first mate said, looks like you thought too soon. The black ship came up along the side. Captain Black himself came out on the deck of the black ship. He yelled to Captain Allegra, You're never gonna find the edge. Thar ain't no paradise. And yar father were a liar. Captain Allegra yelled back, Then why do you keep following us, you imbecile? Damn, this bitch knew that word at second grade? I just learned that shit like... <laughs> Two years ago. <laughs> Alright. The first mate yelled out, We'll stop you, Captain Black. We find out the edge of the world, and you'll see her father was no liar. The battle kept going until Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now west, she said, and the ship sailed towards the sunset. Low-key, that was a better story than I could ever fucking write, and I'm going to 11th grade. Oh, shit. I don't think that was fucking thunder, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, I don't see what game y'all got me fucking with. Shit's weird, but I'm giving it a chance. Uh, yeah, once again, y'all can read that shit, I'm not reading it, so... Hey! What a great song. Oh, messy ass bitches. The X Files. They had that shit in 1995? What else is on there? Family Matters. Mm. Isn't there a show, Girl Meets World or some shit? Walker, Texas Ranger. No lie, that was my shit when I was little. Chuck Norris. Alright, this shit needs to turn off. Shut the bitch. All right. I saw something else on there. Full house. Yeah, I knew that. Grab the coaster. Shit, put it, put it back up in here. All right. Oh, oh, shit, shit. Oh 
Ah, uh, can I? How the fuck? Pulp Fiction. I don't think I've ever seen that movie, but. What the fuck is that? Alright. Like I said, guys, I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do. So. If you guys have any ideas, if I don't find find out what I'm supposed, oh yeah, I was going for my fucking dad or whatever. I thought I thought he was in there. Uh, I was. Yeah, fuck that. Who's that? Oh, that's the girl she was talking about in the beginning about the army or whatever. The suit. Shit. <sighs> College or some shit? Yeah, fuck that. Oh. oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school. And there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just Taunted? stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. Oh, so this shit is a horror game or some shit. Psycho House? Oh, hell nah. Yeah, speaking of horror. Alright, that's just an electric bill or some shit. Speaking of horror, when Outlast 2 comes out. Ah, you already know. Yeah, it's getting hot as shit in it. What the fuck does the fan. Hell nah. Shit sounded weird. Grab. Keep pressing the wrong. What the fuck? Who reads this? Uh. uh Man, what is the point of a lot? What am I supposed to do with this shit? Alright. Oh. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm supposed to be looking for a fucking key. What the fuck? Combo. You think I know that? Alright, where do you think the combo would be at? Alright. Turn this shit on. Alright, let's see if it's up here somewhere. 1963. Let's read this. Hmm. I don't think it'd be on there. Huh. Wait, what the hell did I just grab? Oh! The. <sighs> Alright, so there's a piece missing. So there's a there's a piece missing. We gotta find it or some shit. I'm guessing that's how you get the code for that safe, whatever filing cabinet. So our dad's an author. What is that? <gasps> hey, that's what's up, dad. Yeah. Uh, 
Damn, it's that fucking big. Fuck your book. Okay. Uh. Damn, did all this bitch do was read? A stranger under my roof. Okay. Alright. Dear Terrence. Uh, 0451. Maybe that's the code. Alright, what's over here? Okay. Alright, what was the number again? Oh four five one. All right, let's try that. I don't even think there's that many codes on. I mean, numbers on it. Oh, there is. Oh, four five one. Hey. All right. Please find enclosed your original document and a typed copy for your records. An notarized copy if you fill it out. You expect me to read that? I can't read that shit. I, Oscar Mason. Wait, didn't that Oscar Mason? Where did I see that? That was in this game, right? I just saw that, right? Like earlier. I don't really know. Alright. Um. Okay. Dude, I, I really don't know what the point of this game is. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Right, what the hell's over here? Shitty ass erasers. Fuck. Should I shit? Dr. Jitters. Hmm. I'm really about a flame. Hey. Loki like this song. Somehow I always knew that someday we see through. Now that it's happened, I just can't. I've done the best I could to keep from feeling blue. Can't get you off my oh, mind. Nothing breaks in this shit. Voodoo, mildew, and chandu. Why, Daddy, I didn't know you were here. I'm right here looking at you, honey. If it ain't me, it's my shadow. Do you think I sent you far away? I ain't been nowhere. From me. I'm supposed to be doing some big ass house. What is this? Kitty, please tell mom and dad about. Sorry about the stuff that's missing. This bitch stole. Uh. What is this? 
Hi Lonnie, so if you wanted to come over to my house still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive, it's kind of far, blah blah blah. This bitch has got some fucking Kamehameha type shit. Oh, Street Fighter. That's what that is. Earlier they were talking about Street Fighter. So you know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men? Yeah, it turns out it applies to Street Fighter too. Hey, at least you. I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. Better not smoke. And that was when she asked me if I was oh. that psycho house girl. But Damn. then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. Alright, so, uh... This is the Psycho House. And I'm in it right now. No clue what the hell I'm supposed to do. And this game is boring as a bitch. I mean, yeah, it's interesting, but it's boring. Controlled burn forest. Janice Green Briar. Isn't that my mom? Some shit. Got some lights. Damn. How big is this house? Jesus God. Wait. It's weird hanging out with girls. Damn right. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls. I don't know. But being around Lonnie Fuck is girls. like instantly no, just, just right. I gave her the grand psycho house tour and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know. I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape and said, You have got to listen to this. Alright, I'm I haven't going stopped right now. playing it since. Oh, for real? For real? For real? <sighs> this video, just, just, just playing this game makes me bored. Oh my god! The fuck? Katie, mom and dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice that they weren't weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. Hmm. Oh my fuck. What the fuck? Ghost hunter. The fuck? Ghost milk. <sighs> oh, Lonnie. Fuck you, Lonnie. Bro, I'm hell confused right now. What is the point of that? Nothing's in there. Why am I even in here? Why am I in here? Get this shit out of here. Another cassette somewhere? The fuck? IQ? Dumbass. Halloween show. Don't forget your costume. This mi the misfits. They're awesome. See you there. Lie Sometimes to you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and 
awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. Wow, cool. Great friendship. You get oh shit, that looking out. What the fuck? Captain Allegra. What the fuck? Oh my god, I have to see this. We're skipping. Sixth. I was in the library and I noticed something in the corner and I found a secret passage and it had Oscar's creepy old stuff in it. <sighs> Mom's dad's room. Mom and dad's room. Closet. Secret passage marked on the map. Alright. I forgot you could even do that. What's that? How many shits did this hell make for me? God damn. Alright, uh, where do I put this? Uh, oh, yeah, in the other room. Fuck you, you fucked me over. Nothing's in it. Uh, what the hell's that? Oh, here it is. Sam's dark room. Do not enter if red lights are on. Alright. Two attic. What is this again? Guest room. Oh yeah. Alright, 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 alright. Ice, ice, ice wall. So I'm guessing this is mom's room. Right? Yes. Alright, so over here there should be a secret passage. But where? Ooh. Alright, that's weird. Alright, finally some juice in this damn video. What is this? Ghost Hunter Sam and Lonnie's secret house investigation log. Hidden compartments found. Library, upstairs, hall, and foyer. Evidence of the supernatural discovered zero. Alright, so that's where those are. Right. Yeah. Room. Right, where's that panel at? What it look like again? Oh wait, it's not even in this fucking room. Is there one down here though? TV. Oh, it's down here. Here it is. Alright. 
half of Sam's comp locker combo. Fifty and one. Alright. First uh, shit 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 shit. I'm private. Alright. Where's the other one? Dad's office. Alright, now. There's one in here. All the way over here. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her, my eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over, I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me, and was so close, and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my Lesbos? head, and I really hope she could tell. I really hope that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. Okay, then. What the hell is this? Here it is. A Ouija... Yeah, I don't know. Alright, 0, 50, and then what? 0, 51. Hello? Hello, who are you, Oscar? What do you want? To come back. Fuck no! Alright. Zero. Fifty. Oh. Take key, where's that for? Lonnie came over today. Fuck. But everything was. different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Hmm. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. Lesbos. I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. I'm telling you right now. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie. Do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. I knew it. <laughs> uh, good old love, am I right? <laughs> Alright. So... It's not this one, but it's that one. <sighs> and he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. Wow. Wait, is this wrong? Uh.
what's over here? Uh, here we go. Uh, down. Hmm. So now there's a. What the fuck? There's a combo there. <sighs> oh, this game, it doesn't work. Interesting. Grab toy. Fuck this toy. What the hell is this? Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. It was this way, right? No, it's not. <sighs> it's over here, it has to be. when I'm gonna end this video. Probably just gonna make it long. Mm. What is this? What the hell? I'm just wondering, like, what is the point of being able to grip, pick shit up in this game if it if it does like nothing? I don't know if that says girl just just now. sometimes. Like her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation, following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like she's going to join the army and then have to lie about who she is. She said, they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. Oh. So we're on the other side of the house now. Alright. This is getting very boring to play. This game makes no sense. It's probably gonna be very boring for y'all to watch. 
I don't expect to get many views on this. Interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. When you were never gonna need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, Shira. Mom and dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, Is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something, but they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them because they're in for one very long phase. Oh. All right. Um All right, let's listen to this song. And then I think I'm going to end the video. Daniel finally came over to get his game. I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how we used to be friends, how much I'd taken for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie. And then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. And for some reason, I almost believed him. I just want to know where the the parents are, where my sister is. Hey, this game is so confusing. It honestly makes no sense. Like, what the hell am I supposed to be doing? and this is Lana's. I asked Lonnie what she had to do to get ready to ship out for basic training. She said, not a lot, really. You're not allowed to bring anything with you. You have no possessions. No contact with the outside world while you're in basic. You just train hard every day, and then you deploy from there. 
So, they'll just send her away. To who knows where. The other side of the country. The other side of the world. My mind, like, can't process it. But she's really going to be... gone. Just gone. Yeah, that's life. I mean... People are gonna leave. Alright guys, um... I don't really expect this to get many views, but if it does, hey, whatever. But... Weed? Pick up some, pick up some weed. Alright, I don't expect this to get many views, but if it does, then so be it. I mean, this game's kind of fucking boring. It's probably boring as hell to watch. But... Let me know in the comments if I should do another video on this. I probably won't if nobody wants to do it. Cause like I said, this shit is hella boring. But... Uh... If you're new to my channel, subscribe. I don't normally do things like this, but... I don't really know what we'll do. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest okay. ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she... Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. She was singing. I could practically forget. Everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. I can't live without her. Then yeah, she dedicated the last song me of, what's it called? to me. I couldn't take it. Uh, I, that game's I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, like I don't think you can. Right, the sunset story, light bro. in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic and wait. So is that where she could be? Maybe this is the end of the game, I don't know. Let's see. See anything, Sam? Uh. Oh. All right. Oh my God, Katie. Uh, I fell asleep morphine? in the attic, in Lonnie and my old spot, and I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it, and it was Lonnie. On a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic and she said she couldn't she couldn't think of anything but me and us. And that she couldn't go through with it. With the army and being a part and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me. 
And let's just drive until we find somewhere for hey. us. Yeah. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said yes. Yes. You know, this game is like undiscovering fucking love story. I kind of... Is this the end? Do not read if you're not Katie. Katie, I'm so sorry. I think this is the end of the game, and that if it is, I'm just gonna to upload the person. whole thing. That I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal, and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did. And that you won't be sad, and you won't hate me. And you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again someday. Love. Wow. You know, I don't even know what to say about this game. I mean, it was like, it was boring at first, but then like, near the end I kind of got into it. Uh, I guess that's the definition of true love, you know. Like. Alright, but like I don't I don't know what to say about this game. It was very weird. I mean I, I finished this in one gameplay for one run. No walkthroughs, no nothing. It was kinda easy. I still kinda wanna know what's in that safe in the basement. So I might look that up. I might look that up uh, later tonight. But yeah, I'm gonna have to edit this video. Uh, I'm probably gonna play some UMG right after I'm done recording this. I've had the guys muted for like an hour or two now trying to make this video. So if you guys enjoyed, comment, like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you thought about the storyline of this game. I mean, we know what happened to Sam, how she, like, left with Lonnie or whatever to go do what she did with her, whatever they were doing. But where are the parents? And who is Oscar Mason, and why are they, like, doing all this demonic shit to him? I don't know. This game is just very, very weird. So... Like I said, if you're new, I don't normally do things like this, but I can start, like, Outlast. When when Outlast 2 comes out, I can play that, if y'all want. Uh, possibly in a month or so, like a month or two, maybe I can get a PlayStation VR. Play some horror games on that. Uh... See, like, here's the thing. This story got to my feels. J that end part, it got to my feels. The beginning, I, I didn't even know what the fuck to say, but... <sighs> yeah. This is your boy, Hawk Agony. And I'm out.